What's everybody? I'm Shade. Welcome back to Become a Legend. And we start off this episode where we left off last time, of course. And uh, I didn't get to mention it last time, but that is the Pez League semi-final. And uh, when I saw that, I kind of, I you know, I felt the pressure because I wanted Cole to be consistent not only in the in the matches where the teams that we face are like <laughs> a lot below our level, but I wanted to Cole to be consistent in the big matches as well. And maybe that came to bite uh, Cole uh, because uh, they did score quite early on in the first half and then it was just Cole you know starting to get his shots and then getting some passes in because uh, sometimes when you know the shots won't go in you just have to do what Ibra does at PSG now and just turn um, provider but uh, nothing apparently seemed to work Cole still you know keeping to his dribbling to his close dribbling I love his close dribbling by the way and then to his shots but uh, if they were either you know going wide or the keeper had him covered and then Cole playing the team game gets a nice ball back it puts a goal in but the keeper saves that one too and they get rid of it but from from that exact uh, after that exact moment Cole gets substituted and I'm I was pretty bummed and to make matters worse they our team Razbor conceded again and that's you know that's quite an often thing to happen when they take call off but I'm not gonna go into that right now because I really wanted us to win this match you know sometimes I just kinda play for Cole just plays for himself but that wasn't it and uh, we are out, out of the Pez League and you know I was pretty bummed Cole you know, he just cannot. Uh, Cole may be the start of the team. That's what I, how I think of it. He may be the start of the team, but he's still just you know a 17 year old, and you can't really put that pressure on him because he's not. He's far from being the leader of uh, of the team. So um, with the with the bummed out feeling in mind, we go into our second match, and there was pretty much nothing to lose. We were up against a weaker side, of course. And uh, Cole, mm, you know, he 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 took that uh, uh, as an opportunity to actually get back in his form, and uh, he gets his first goal after quite some nice dribbling. I told you I love that. Basically, what I do is when he's like sprinting, I just press the um, the the button. I don't know what they call it in PES. I it's pace control in FIFA or something, but it's something. It's called something else in PES, but. Um, yeah, just do that, and he stops, and then you just need to look for space real quick, and you can accelerate, like, in a second to, like, almost full speed, but, um, a series of chops there, but a weak shot, uh, at the end of it all, and, um, you know, I abused the shot, <laughs> I abused the chop, I should say, from, I told you that last episode, so, um, when, when you can, why not, you know, I mean, the defenders weren't the best defenders, <laughs> that's, Quite an understatement, but yeah, playing the team ga game, <laughs> I say yay, playing the team game there, and Cole gets uh, Cole's shot gets saved again, but then Cole with the finesse shot, they seem to take the right foot a shot when you don't really want the right foot. But then, ooh, what a powerful shot! I thought that was in for a moment, but that wasn't to be. Cole thought it was in as well, so just one goal still for Cole. The, my teammate probably should have waited a bit longer there for uh, to give me the, the ball back after that one too, but um, he did it, and so I had to take the shot early to not um, get uh, get closed down by the defender. But my team does play a really good game there. I love I love the pass back with the head, and um, they get a goal without Cole. That used to bother <laughs> me, but uh, it's way different now. Look at that. Cole is now just not playing for himself only anymore, and that's how he got that assist. Beautiful uh, back heel by my opponent to get me, by my teammate, I should say. They're not my opponents anymore. I used to think of them like that, but it's not anymore. Cole is growing up. So he actually cares about the team as well, even though the season is almost over and we do plan to to move from Mrabsbor and from the Pezzi, but we'll talk about that when, um, in future episodes, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but, um, 
that ended. Cole got a goal and an assist, I believe. Then we got some new boots, of course, from being the man of the match. And they look like pretty good boots from the stats they had, so I had to check them. And they apparently were the boots that I already had. I, I'm not really sure what color I had before, but now I picked gold. So, yeah. That is that. And we head into our third match. And from the first whistle of the match, I did notice that it was probably the weakest side we had faced that uh, that time. So Cole was going to take full advantage of that, you know him. So he does get on his shooting streak quite a bit until he gets uh, until he gets actually into passing as well. Look at that one through ball right there as an example. But um, my teammate actually does something I don't really get when you when you put in a good through ball. They um, that was a really good through ball as well. But they did the same thing that I was wanted to talk about. So, when you put a really good through ball, instead of like, going, you know, all the way to get into that one-on-one -on -one situation to actually score, they, you know, take the shot way too quick, and I don't get that, but, um, as you saw earlier, their 10 shots to nil was the percentage of this match, and as Cole gets his first goal of the match, so, as I said, the side was, our, you know, our, the posing side was pretty weak. So, no, we were completely dominating everything. Probably Cole still a bit affected by his weak performance in the semi in the semifinals. So, uh, trying to make up for it. But, um, our opponents may be weak, but they played a really good uh, game there. And they got one back. So, it's 1-1 one, one against, the, against the weakest side today. That was probably just, you know, getting too complacent on our part. But Cole took it took it upon himself and with his brilliant first touch that's not first touch brilliant close dribbling he gets a goal a second goal for himself and puts us in the lead again that was really good close dribbling I like that it you know uh, the dribbling skill plus and alongside the um, the pace is just a good combination and good finishing is always nice to have so uh, that was that Cole's doing pretty well, except for that first one, uh, that uh, I'm still kind of disappointed that we, we didn't go through, uh, you know, with the league, with the Pez League, but uh, that's that, we are out of that one, we are second place though in the cup, so, at this point I, I go in the shop, and I've said this before, but, um, you know, why not, so if you were wondering why I'm saving my points, I'm trying to buy the personal trainer thing, because that apparently, uh, has an effect on all of your stats as the you know the way they go up instead of just like plus five boost and that is that but I want them to like consistently go up you know faster and better and all of that so um I do look out for the next episode thank you for watching this one if you enjoyed do leave a like if you can be bothered don't but uh, I've been shade thank you for watching goodbye